Welcome back to this channel, guys. My name is Steve. This is my wife, Lindsay, and my daughter, Sophia. And today we are super excited to be opening packages from subscribers in the UK. I think we have around nine or 10 packages here. We have a couple of really big boxes to, mm -hmm. to check out, but uh, you just want to go ahead and get started? Let's do it. All right. Sophia, whose side should we start on? Mommy's or Daddy's? Mama. All right, so let's do this one then. This is from... Travis, yeah. Okay, Travis and... I think it was Yorkshire. Yorkshire? It says I'm going back, I believe. Yep, North Yorkshire. All right. And we do... Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Lindsay's in love, <laughs> baby. Can you hold up what it is? Oh, my goodness. White hold chocolate up. Maltese, everybody. Hold up. Hold up. I got it. What, what is, is that? that? Chicory and coffee essence. essence camp. What is this? Oh, here's the lid. Glad there was oh. a seal on it. <laughs> oh, it's yeah, it just sounds great. Original recipe ready to use in drinks, bakes, and desserts. Interesting. We'll have to look at Okay, that. yeah. I've never heard of that. I haven't either. That's it. Coffee and walnut cake. Oh man. Is it a sweet? White chocolate fingers. Oh yeah. Oh, it's crossed fingers. <laughs> Cross, wait, what? I think, didn't we try um, snowy fingers or something at Christmas time, Cadbury? They were really good. So wait, Christmas. oh wait, this. Ooh, oh. This Le Petit Crossed. Chocolat. Yeah, look at this. Ooh, these are French. Oh, biscuits. Ooh, these look like good ones. Oh my goodness. Lou Bakery was created in 1846 in Nantes, France. Oh, that's France. Hey, mm -hmm. look like them. Oh, the sculpt. Biscuit. This Crunchy is cinnamon brown I don't, sugar. I don't think this is what what brand like what where is this one made? They they're the same, aren't they? No, that's the different. Oh it's brand. not the same as this no, one? I don't think so. No. Chocolate Chocolate Le Wait, is this German? Or Lebanese? Interesting. This is the that's interesting. I wonder if these I'm are excited. I wonder if these are French and German products that are just popular in the UK. That makes sense. You Let, guys are closer. Yeah, Mondelez, you're very close. Mondelez, isn't that the like parent company of Cadbury? I don't know. I think it is. Okay, anyway, guys, let us know exciting. in the comments, guys. These three are these British? Are they French? Or well, those are they are definitely French. Some German here. I, I, I think this might be German. It's, so I'm curious, are these made in the UK? Are they made outside of the UK? Or are they just popular in the UK? But uh, awesome box. Yes, that's awesome. Thank you, Travis. Appreciate it. Uh, it was, it seems like it's a mostly white chocolate box. Which, I like which yeah, I started to say Lindsay loves that. This says Steve, Lindsay, and Sophia, but there's no name on the app. Oh, wait, 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 yeah. wait. Debbie. Debbie. Debbie in Manchester. All right. It's a card. Oh, what does that say? It says, hi guys from Manchester, England. I love watching your channel and your reactions to all things UK. You're so appreciative of our history and culture. It's very humbling. It's very humbling to, to me. me. We noticed Lindsay likes our cottages and Sophia likes tiny things. So I've sent them both a gift of a typical seaside cottage. The mini version is for Sophia. I've got similar ones in my house. Hope they like them. Lots of love and best wishes, Debbie. P.S. The front of this card is some typical sayings here. That might be fun for you to try and guess what they mean. Late. Oh, are oh. these like um, British slang? British slang. Fair dues. Fair dues. Oh, like. I don't know. Cheerio. I know that I've heard Cheerio's that. Cheerio's bye or hi, right? Yeah, I think so. Bob's your uncle. Does that mean like everything's good? Uh, like it's oh, like you're I, all set or something. It, I remember that one from like like a long time ago, and I can't remember exactly what. It, it's a pretty popular one. Bugger, bugger, B bugger. Oh, like oh, oh man, bugger. My, yeah, you like I can picture it in my head, but I can't so really like, explain. I it. just want to know what's <laughs> stroppy. Lady Muck. So is that basically like... Oh, like Lady Luck is like you're, everything's good. Lady you're, Muck would mean everything's bad? Yeah, maybe or like every, bad luck. Every, here we'd say something like everything's mucked up. Mm -hmm. oh. Is this one Sophia's? Hold on, hold on. I think this one's Sophia's. Look, it's a miniature. Oh my goodness, the packaging. Salty Shores. Handmade Driftwood Gifts. Oh, I'm intrigued. 
I love driftwood oh, that's creations. Cool. These are made out of driftwood? I don't want to cut it. It's so cute. Wait, is that? Oh, wait, that's cracking. Oh, oh, this one's Sophia's. <sighs> Sophia. Oh, my goodness. Dude. This is adorable. That is oh, so yeah. awesome. How precious is that? Sophia, are you going to put that on your tiny shelf? Oh, you could clip it somewhere too. Look how cute. That really is cute. Her little miniature stuff. That's where she got it from. <laughs> mm -hmm. Be gentle. It's very fragile. I love the wow. little moss detail. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, okay. Guys, okay. she really does love her mini stuff. I mean, yes. so, at some point we're going to take a picture of her current mini shelf. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's overflowing. Yeah, we're going to have to get her bigger. Yeah, because we can't even fit everything on it at this point. All right, let's so see many. what this is. Oh, my goodness. Driftwood creations. I love it. That's so cute. Oh. <laughs> Debbie. That's oh, cute. Like, that means a lot. That is so sweet. I bet no two are alike. Yep. They're handmade. Yep. That was really special. Thank you, Debbie. Appreciate it, Debbie. They will be treasured. Yes, they will be treasured. <laughs> Can you trace one thing? What one thing? One thing. What one thing? Uh, one of the treats. You want to try a Malteser bunny? Yeah. I think we tried those on the last one, so. <laughs> All right. So if Annie needs a little pick, pick me, me up. up. <laughs> All right. Daddy wouldn't mind having a Malteser bunny either. <laughs> Here you go, Sophia. White chocolate mm, Malteser bunny. It smells good. It does it. Here you go, Daddy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right. Mm hmm. Mm. Really good. Mm hmm. Knickers on a twist. Mm. Same as panties in a bunch here. Like, mm. yeah. don't get all worked up about something. Yeah, those are fun. I like that part. Right. This is from Travis. Oh, is it? Is it Lee. Same, it's the same Travis sent this, isn't it? I think so. North Yorkshire? North Yorkshire. Yeah. Oh, my. What is this? Looks packed. <laughs> Whoa, what, what is, is that? Farmhouse style dumpling mix. Ooh, Makes eight dress. dumplings in 20 minutes. Oh, Sainsbury's batter mix. Oh, is that for like. Oh, Yorkshire puddings. Okay, so we've been wanting to try to make this. But is it true that you have to have a special pan? Because I think Wait, that's what stopped me before. Is that what this, is this to go with it or is that separate? I think it's separate. Okay. It's two different things. This is farm golden fry dumpling mix. So is it, This is cool. What is this? That's a uh, Yorkshire pudding batter. Or I think it said you can make pancakes. Oh. Oh, another Lou Le Petit. Brr. Oh, wow. Biscuits with butter. I'm excited about this. Yeah, me too. Thank you, Travis. Thanks, Travis. Appreciate it. Also, it did have Lee on there, so we're not 100% sure, but I think these are from Travis. This one didn't have a name on it. All right. Oh, what does that say? Okay, this is... Like a packing slip? Dear Steve, Lindsay, and family, apologies if I spelt Lindsay wrong. No, you spelled it right. <laughs> I have just found your channel and really enjoyed the lighthearted take on the oddities we have over here. Things are a little hard in life sometimes, but watching the horror on you. <laughs> I think it got cut off. Oh, wait. Hold on. No, wait. Wait. What? Let me see. Look at the back here. It's yeah, got words see. there, but it's not really. It's either really light or. Uh, that's just the UPS. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah, I, got, I guess the text got cut off. Aww. You must have only had like a certain amount of 
character. Does it say who it's from? No. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's another note over yeah. there. Yeah, let's see. Let's see here. What do we got here, Sophia? Twiglets. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's one that's our love. These are Taverners licorice all sorts. Oh, these look good. Oh, shortbread. Grandma Wild. melts. All butter. Mmm. Jelly, really jelly babies, gummy candies. A good jelly one. babies. Jelly babies. <laughs> that's cute. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> what? Oh, bless good you. Job, a union flag. Oh, what? an Ireland one and a union flag. Thank that's you. That's awesome. Thank you. Wait, be careful. Yeah, Sorry. Be careful, Daddy. Sorry. <laughs> this is curly whirly. We like those. Yes, we like those. <laughs> Giant Parma Violets. Oh, Parma Violets. Uh, That's something we've yet to try. Two. I've never heard of them. You? I've heard of them, but we haven't tried them yet. All right. One more thing. This is this is right up Lindsay's alley. What is it? <gasps> Yorkshire Gold. Yorkshire Gold. Ooh, this is the luxury. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I wish I knew who it was. I know. I hate that the message got cut off. Well, um, hopefully, if this was the package you sent, please leave it in the comments. So yeah, and say thanks. Yeah, appropriately, but yeah, let us know. <laughs> Thank you, whoever this was. We appreciate it. Let's just yes. say, let us know in the comments. Dear Steve, Lindsay, and Sophia, greetings. Just to show my continued appreciation of your videos, I've included some Easter themed chocolates oh, my and goodness. cakes. Enjoy. Best regards, Lee and Swansea. Well, thanks, Lee. Thank you. All right, you ready? Oh my. Oh, oh my goodness. My goodness. <laughs> wow. Wow. Lent hen mini eggs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. Hold it up so everybody can see what it is. A Cadbury <laughs> mini eggs egg. <laughs> yes. I'm so excited. Wow. <laughs> You don't like chocolate, do you? Yes, oh. I do. Oh my, what's that? Cadbury Oreo egg. Yum. Yummy. <laughs> Kinder Bueno eggs. Those are my favorite. I like Kinder eggs. You do too, don't you? I do. <laughs> Ooh. Chocolate M&M &M eggs. I think, I'm looking at the ingredients real quick. What is that? You guys is doesn't have the red 40 and stuff. Do they? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. I know ours do. I know. <laughs> Everything's got artificial dye here. Cool. I'm excited. A Lent egg. M and M's eggs. Ooh, Sophia. What else is it? Yes. Oh. A Cabri white chocolate button egg. <laughs> I see Mama's thing down there. What? Oh, Maltesers bunnies. These are orange. I tore the whole down. Oh, I'm sorry. I was trying to help. What is that, Sophia? Oh my goodness, we haven't seen one of those before. Caramel dairy milk. Nibbles. Nibbles. <laughs> oh, what's that one? What does it say? It's a Lent egg. I'm not sure what flavor it is, but it's a pretty blue. <laughs> Lit and oh, blue look at this. More Cadbury rolls, mini rolls, and a Reese's egg. Thank Cadbury you, Lee. Chocolate mint. This looks different from what we it tried does look before. A different. We tried something similar to this a while back. This looks different, though. Thank you, Lee, for all the treats. Yeah, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Happy Easter. Yeah, happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. <laughs> This is from Paul in Manchester. What do we got here, Sophia? Oh yeah. <laughs> this is something we like, Sophia. She's been having at least one a day. <laughs> she loves these. I love these too. Uncle Joe's mint balls, baby. Love these. They're just so good. Like, you know, just need a little pick me up. Yeah. I keep it in the drawer there. Anytime I'm like just thinking, man, I'd love just a little something sweet. I pull one of those out. Uh, pull one of those out and it's delicious. You like those, don't you, Sophia? Let's go, Uncle Joe. 
U N C L E J O E apostrophe. Dear Steve, Lindsay, and Sophia, greetings from Manchester. For the head of the household, Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, remember that toy factory near the house in which I grew up? Here are more toys from there, which I hope you like. Toys for you? One looks messy, so mom and dad will help you with that one. <laughs> also sent you my favorite of the Mr. Men. If you hear someone say, ouch, it will probably be him. <laughs> what? I am sure he will be safer with you. Your mom or dad might play his video on the computer for you sometime. Bye for now. Oh, there's a video on for Steve, you like newspapers, so I've included a couple for you. Dread to think what stories might be inside the Manchester one. I have no idea there was a newspaper for Irish people living in Britain until I bought those. What? Also included that soap you like from last year, and of course, more pips, peanut butter cups. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, for Lindsay, a cult beauty brand started on the Isle of Wight, White, the place where that hovercraft goes, yeah. and is still manufactured there. I've included their most popular product. Apply a grape-sized amount to your face while dry and give it a good rub. Aww. Then rinse the cloth in hot water as hot as you dare. Wring it out and polish it off. There's a white chocolate drink for you to polish it off, too. <laughs> Best wishes, Paul. Thank you, Thank Paul. you, Paul. Appreciate that. Aww. Oh, my goodness. What is it? Oh, you this know what this is. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I love these. Oh my goodness. What do we got here? Oh wait, there's a dark chocolate peanut. Ooh, can't and then three of the red. Oh my goodness. Aww. Can we all share them? I love can these. Can we all share them? Yeah, you want to open one up? Yeah. We've already tried this one right here before. Mm -hmm. Wait, did she try it? Yeah, she tried it. Okay. Yeah. She didn't get much of it though. I don't think there was much of it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, like this is a, this is a Pips. And it turns out like it's vegan chocolate or something, but. Is it? Are you sure? Something about it was either a vegan company or I don't think it is. this this version was vegan or something, but they were so good. It was it shocked me how no, good they were. No, this isn't vegan. It's not? Mm -mm. Okay. Well, it's good. It's Yeah, they were good. Some, maybe when I looked at the website after I tried it last, that's all they had vegan stuff on it. But Or you're getting it confused with something else. Do you want? I don't. Okay. You guys come on. All right, you ready? Mine? Yep, you that's cheers? yours. Cheers. cheers. Is that me? You ready to try it? Mmm. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> that is really good. You're probably gonna need this when you're done. Oh! That's crazy. There's an Irish newspaper the for people Irish, living in Britain. Like they probably can't see it over there. The Irish Post. Huh. Mm. That's so interesting. Mmm. This is so good. <laughs> All I hear is chewing. Dublin Soccer Club continues a series of soccer shirts. Featuring rock stars. It's so interesting to look at stuff like this. Mm-hmm. And there's the Manchester Evening News. Brianna Killer's kickboxer pervert dad is Joe. What? <laughs> what? Okay. My headline. All right. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, all right, Sophia. Ooh. Gray's Bakewell Tart. Flapjack. We're going to do a video with these types of bars soon. Let me see this. Will we share them sometime? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. This this says for Lindsay. Aw. Thank you. And this says for... I really want to see what it is. You want to see it? This says for Sophia. Oh, my gosh. I smell the soap already. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. I know you do. Green oat flapjack. You open it, Sophia? Yes. Aw. He even wrapped it up. Is that? It's the rainbow scratch pictures. Rainbow scratch pictures. You love the scratch pictures. Yes. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> oh, it's locked. Oh. Sand stickers. Oh, stickers. That looks fun. That's Sophia's love language stickers. She loves stickers, don't you? Yeah. Never stickers one of your favorite things? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. What is this, Sophia? This is a toy. Oh, another toy? You want to open it that Scratch way? Kit.
Nip it. Oh, clarify the boys and clear the throat. Oh, yeah, you need that. I've been there needing that. I'm still dealing with the laryngitis a little oh, bit. Oh, she's got felting kit. Ooh. That's exciting. You've never had anything like that, I don't think. How do we do she, it? We'll have to figure it out. Has she ever had anything like nope, that? Nope, nothing like this. That'll be fun. Sophia loves the crafting. She mm -hmm. gets that for her mom. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely doesn't get that for me. Uh, this but, is awesome. Yeah, she loves yeah, that we'll type of thing. Yeah, we'll definitely have to do that, won't we? Thank you, Paul. Yes. We Nip, did all the keychains. Nip it. Yeah, you did. Uh, clarifies the voice and clears the throat. Ooh. I've been needing something like that, so that'll come in handy. Mr. Bump. Oh, is that the Mr. I think, Man? I think so. I don't know what Mr. Bump is. You want to help but, that? Yeah. All right, let's see. Mr. Bump. <laughs> what is oh, Mr. Bump? That's funny. Oh, Mr. Bump had a boo-boo, didn't he? Yes. Is he, is he wrapped up in bandages because he had a bunch of boo-boos? Yes. This will be good. White chocolate hot Oh, chocolate. is that that? But it's Where'd you like find that? I didn't... In my box. Oh. <laughs> my package. Yeah, okay, so we can melt this in with milk and then like mix it Is up. Is that Hotel Shangla? No, it's a different brand, but mm, it's, it? it's actual like chocolate shavings. That looks Ooh. really good. Thank you, Paul. Is and it, this looks really good. Is it Noops? Canoops? Noops, I would think. Noops. 28% white chocolate. Is it two flakes. owls or one? Two. Oh, okay. Noops. Oh, okay. Thank that, you, Paul. That looks, that looks like a nice. I'm excited. It's this hot chocolate. I'll have to look up this company. Yeah. Liz Earl. So, yeah, this looks like a nice hot chocolate. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. The white, that's going to be interesting. So, uh, Lizzie loves uh, white, chocolate. And white chocolate. And so. I love this soap, the right. Is think, it the same I one? think, is it? Is it the, was it tar soap? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, is, I think this is, but if it is, I loved. I think it is. It smells the same. Yeah, I love it. What was the ingredient? I don't remember. I don't remember either, but I, I really enjoyed that soap. It was, it was really good. Aww. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate Paul it. Paul is so thoughtful, isn't he? Yeah. Catherine Cornwall? from Cornwall. Yeah. All right. All right, Sophia. Oh, there you go, Mama. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at that. That looks oh, what? beautiful. This is where Catherine lives. Oh, wow. Isn't that gorgeous? It is yeah. really pretty coast. Wow. Is it in Cornwall? Yeah, right there on the ocean. Cornwall Attractions. Dear Steve, Lindsay, and Sophia, I thought you might enjoy some treats and pro and product from Cornwall. The fudge was freshly made the same day I bought it. And it's chocolate made in, is it Bood? Or bud or I, I don't it's B U D E. B U D E. Where I live. I think it'd be the rest Bude, Bude. is from North and South Cornwall. Not the eggs, obviously. I live in Bood or Booty or Booty. <laughs> I don't know. North Cornwall by the sea. We have one of the only remaining sea filled open air pools available to the public. That would be awesome. I see it in the picture, I think. Where? I think it's this one right here. Is it? It's open air pool right by the ocean to the right. To the right? Where? Mm -hmm. All the way to the right. Oh. That looks awesome. Oh, that does look awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love to watch your videos and learn quite a bit about my own country. Thanks for that. I don't mind my name read out on air. Hopefully one day soon, you and your lovely family will enjoy a visit to the Cornish Shores. I hope so. Yeah. Is that Catherine? I am originally, no, that's not her. It's just a little illustration. I am originally a Lancashire lass, but have lived in Bood about 30 years. I can just about call myself a local. <laughs> the Cornish storybook is for Sophia. The treats are to share as you please. Sorry I couldn't send a cream tea, as the clotted cream would be bad when you receive it. Mm. Enjoy your life. God bless, Catherine. Thank you. Thank you, Catherine. Appreciate it. Wine Bodman Bodman. I don't know how to Bodman pronounce it. Railway, Bodman Cornwall's Railway. Cornwall's premier steam railway. Ooh. Your tickets today, and then here's a Cornwall attraction. Look at the trains, Sophia. Stuff to do in the Cornwall area. It's gonna be fun. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I love things like this. What is it? You're going to be just as excited as I am. What? Because it's just like, I, I love getting unique stuff like this. Just really fascinating to me. <gasps> sea salt. Yes. Like, like oh, corn of we're, sea we're salt. So, we're so like Easy to play. <laughs> dorky. We <laughs> love salt. I love sea salt. And yeah, like too. different places. It tastes different. Yeah. Ooh, it's <laughs> raspberry white chocolate. Oh, that's, that's right up Lindsay's yeah, I like it too. A, yeah. But that's definitely Lindsay's. Uh, mm. Ooh. Don't Will we share it? Oh yeah, we'll we're gonna. It. Hopefully, we're gonna get enough tea soon that we can do another tea video. Mm -hmm. Maybe, Ooh. maybe with biscuits this time. West Country Original Blend, Miles Finest Tea. That is definitely Lindsay's thing. This looks really good. Oh, some fancy. some pamphlets. Oh, careful! It might be something. Oh, that, what is it? Oh, I think it's fudge. Oh, it's fudge. So she had Holy knew what fudge. it was. <laughs> Aqua Park. Get wild and wet. Jump off and cliff. Jump off a cliff. Go karting. Adrenaline quarry. Oh, that looks awesome. That does that looks fun. Sophie, would you do this? Would you go jump on cliff? Yeah. Yeah. And axe throwing, axe throwing is even there. We have axe throwing places around here. I would jump off a cliff in there. <laughs> you would jump off a cliff in there. Handmade and Rolly's fudge pantry. Rolly <laughs> shit. Yeah. So what is it? A fudge? I think we should try this now. Why? You think? I think so. Because you know what? It doesn't stay fresh super long, so. All right. It's chocolate fudge. All right. Let's 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 try it. What brand is it? It's uh, Rolly's Fudge Pantry. So in, a local. In Catherine's Town in Cornwall, yeah. Ooh, it feels soft. All right, hold on, hold on, Sophie. I want to try it together. Try it. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, mm. it's very fresh. Smells good. Mm. Ready? All right. Mmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mmm. Mm. Okay. Mmm. Thank you, Catherine. Ghost Walk, Cinema Night, Paranormal Tour, After Dark, Ghost Hunting Nights. Get an in-depth look yeah. at Bodeman Jail yeah. with our award-winning range of heritage tours and engaging the foreign experience. Yeah, this is the type it's, of thing I would absolutely would love sure, to someplace. do. Yes. Especially since it's a real historical site. That's something I'd like to actually look up. Mm -hmm. Oh, Polly, book. the fisherman's friend. <laughs> oh, wait, what is this? All right, this one's wrapped pretty good. All right, what do we got here? It's a bottle of something. Apple juice. That looks like a really nice apple juice. What? Let me see like, that. Pure apple juice. No way. Like, yeah. just the drink. It's a local apple juice. Ooh, I thought that's good. I bet that's good too. Cornelick Bevies. 100% pure. Pasteurized, no additives, sweetener, or preservatives. Blend of hand picked apples from North Cornwall. Best served chilled. Awesome. Mm, I can't wait to try that. Thank you, Catherine. That was very fancy. Yes. Thank Pre you. Appreciate it. You like your book? Yeah. That was yeah. really nice of her, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that was. Uh, oh, Sophia. Did I say to Sophia? No. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Steve, Lindsay, and it? Sophia. I, I'm going to. Okay. Okay. I hope this package finds you well. My name is Catherine, and I live in Paisley, just outside Glasgow in Scotland. Oh. I've been enjoying your channel for a while now. I have a five-year-old granddaughter called Aria. We love that name. Who reminds me lots of Sophia. Is Aria, Aria no. is her granddaughter. Is Aria my age? Yes, she's five. They both share a love for chocolate, and this <laughs> has inspired the package I've made for you. Aria loved dairy milk chocolate, but she was diagnosed as having a milk allergy around mm. 18 months ago. So I thought you may be interested in trying some of the dairy-free options available to the chocolate lovers yeah. here in the UK. I've enclosed some of Aria's favorite bars, and then I got slightly carried away. <laughs> I added some of your favorites and some traditional Scottish treats, macaroon dates back to the 1930s, and was made using mashed potatoes and sugar, then dipping Wait, chocolate and coconut. Really? It's not very popular these days, but I thought you may like to try it. Sophia's been wanting to try macaroon. So. 
I've seen in your previous vlogs that you enjoy tonics, which is made in Scotland too. Yes. I've sent another tonics variation. Ooh. Caramel logs for you to try also. I think you now have tried all of tonics selection. Tea cakes, caramel wafers, caramel log, and snowballs. I've also sent a new 50p coin with the king's head on it. Oh, yay! Ooh. These came into circulation around 14 months ago, but they're quite difficult to get. This is only the second new coin I've had. Aw, thank you for sending it yeah, to us. thank you. You can thank my husband's night out to the pub to watch the football for this coin. It was in with all this change. When you come to the UK, please come and visit Scotland. It is so beautiful. The Isle of Skye is magnificent. We were lucky to spend five days on the island just as the COVID restrictions ended. A trip we'll never forget. Fort William, St. Andrews, Loch Lomond, and of course my hometown of Glasgow are all worth a visit. If you do manage over, please leave Scotland to the end of your trip, as I promise you'll be leaving the best to last. <laughs> best wishes from the, uh, from Catherine and family. Thank, Thank you, you, Catherine. Catherine. Yes. Thank you, Catherine. I can only imagine how beautiful Scotland is. Yeah, definitely on the list. That's awesome. Yeah. Ooh, that is... Wait, is this... Ooh. This is one of the most interesting flavors I think I've ever seen of a potato crisp. What is it? Honey glazed ham. What? Some Mackey's of Scotland What's, honey glazed ham. Is there That's macaron so in the box? I think there is. We're going to yeah. see. That is one of the most unique flavors, yes. Reese's Overload. <laughs> Reese's Overload. Thornton's. I've never seen those funny. before. You have it? Tonics Mini Caramel Logs. Ooh, those, those look good. Those do look good. We've liked everything we've tried at Tonics so yeah, far. Yeah, it's been really good. All right. So is all this chocolate, all the chocolate, is it dairy-free? No, because this, this oh, isn't. Yeah, this one, this is dairy milk. Oh, that's a Peter Rabbit. Aww. We can't get that here, can we? What Aww. is, oh wait, are these dairy milk, oh I bet these are dairy milk chocolate bar, I mean dairy free chocolate yeah. bars. We got Moo Free Bunny Comb, <laughs> Chalky Bar, White. Then we got a vegan Kit Kat. Uh, no Mo, no, no Mo. No Mo. No, no, no Mo. No Mo. No Mo, no, no missing mo. out. Oh, that's cool, okay. Keep those together because those are. Yeah, dairy free. We, we might try those separately. <gasps> what is that? Maltesers and Galaxy. Ooh. Yeah. Milky Bar Raspberry Ripple Ice Cream. I was supposed to get. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you get out the Daddy, next one. Daddy, look thing. at this coin, by the way. She said it's only the second one she's oh, seen. Oh wow! Even though they've came out. Oh, I really like the back of it. Did you look at the back? Yeah. Wait. Scottish macaroon. Oh, we will sometimes. Oh, 50 pence. Oh, wow. That's so cool, man. The back is really awesome. Mm -hmm. Can you have some? I, I, I don't think anybody can really see that. Not right now, baby. On the camera very well. That's cool, man. I'm surprised how many options you guys have for dairy free. I know, there's a lot. What does the back mean? Like, what are different shields? There you go, baby. I'm not sure. National Health Shambles. <laughs> She's like, why are you going to have me? What is... Oh. Oh, that's a Tartans cool bag. Tartans of Scotland. That is a cool bag. I like that. So are those the different families? I'm assuming, like, last names, right? Yeah, I guess. I so, guess so that's something we need to look more into. Like, what they mean, because... Yeah. I didn't realize there were different ones for... Right. Wow. That's so cool. What do they call them? Not family, like broods or clan or what do they call them? Uh, I can't think. I would be to say. Clan. Is it? It's clan. That's awesome. I want to thank you. Oh, did you, did you open this, Sophia? Open oh, oh, you no. can see it through there. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Catherine. Appreciate yes, it. Yes, that was really thoughtful. That was really nice. All right, this is from Travis. I think it's same the, Travis. I think it's the same Travis. Okay. I believe because it's Travis from Yorkshire. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's the same Travis as those other, other two packages. Package. Dear all, love your vids. So thought I would send you a few parcels and a little bit of history about Britain. 
I have enclosed we'll uh, We Will Eat Again wartime cookbook oh. to show you just how restricted we were and just how we oh, managed wow. to put meals together during World War II. It wasn't only food that was rationed, but toiletry, cigarettes, alcohol, paper, clothing, even elastic, which was vital in them for days for certain undergarments. <laughs> so, well, cosmetics, cleaning products were also rationed, and we heated most of our homes with coal. All of this in itself was tough. Then on top, we were being bombed, especially the big cities like London, Manchester, Liverpool. Certainly a generation we owe so much to. I sent you three parcels, one with printouts in the cookbook, the other two have food in. Yeah. I sent some of my favorite biscuits, which are Italian and German brands. Some ah. camp coffee, which will be an experience. I like it in cooking and in cold milk and on ice cream. Okay, that was what the bottle was. And I, and here I got a recipe for dumplings, mm -hmm. or, or talking about dumplings, not a recipe. Um, but so that's that's why I sent the dumplings. Yeah. Okay. Please don't forget our measurements are slightly different, so you'll need to convert. Hope you enjoy some of the stuff I've sent and find the pronouns interesting. Regards, Tina. Wait. It says Tina. Tina. Okay. Maybe Travis is Tina's husband or something? Or son, or maybe she had somebody else in that look for her. Uh, sure. Well, um, thank you, Tina. Yes, I, I, thank you. Maybe, maybe, maybe it was Tina instead of Travis who sent those other packages. Well, it was this person because yeah. it, see, they just mentioned them. So, not really sure. It says Tina there. Sorry so I guess, for the confusion. Yeah, sorry we for the confusion. They're all from you. Yeah, we know they're all from <laughs> you. But basically, this is a little information about dumplings of London okay. and some other stuff. And then this cool. is a, like she said, a recipe book. Mm -hmm. Uh, for probably similar to like Great Depression recipes that we have here. I'm guessing I mean, probably something similar. They're different. different. It was a different, you know, reason for well, the yeah. issue, but yeah, cool. This, was music you this might is a nice cookbook. Yeah. Music is such a Thank you, Tina. Thank you. I forgot to open this, by the way, from Catherine um, from Scotland. A Malteser Bunny. A Glasgow. Sorry. Glasgow bottle opener. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, this cool. is from Catherine in Scotland. You forgot yes, to open this. Yes, I forgot to open this. Oh, up. this was part of her package. And there's a mint chocolate galaxy, which I'm Ooh. excited to try. Yeah, that, that's right up yeah. Lindsay's alley. That's cool. Yeah, we all have a bottle opener actually. You can tell how much we drink. <laughs> <laughs> That was from Catherine, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Catherine. This is a short letter from Colin. Uh, he says, hi there. Just something to ask if this is the same farm foods as you say you go to. Are the prices about the same as ours? Enjoy, enjoy your videos. All the best from the UK. Aww. Um I'm going to guess your saying, prices are better. He's saying, is this the same farm foods? Is this the same farm foods as you say you go to? Well, we don't have a farm food. Yeah, we, we don't have a farm food. We we uh we go to the actual... Like a farmer's market or... Well, where we get our meat and our milk mm -hmm. are from actual just local farms. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, you know, like our... Basically, uh, we get our our beef and our pork from a farm that's literally like... What is it? Probably seven miles... Of, it's in the same town. So it's... Mm -hmm. uh, I mean... It's in the same county, actually. It's right outside, outside of town. But yeah. It's about seven miles away. She actually delivers, the farmer's wife actually delivers the beef and pork to our doorstep, which is a really convenient thing. Mm -hmm. High quality, grass fed, really the best quality meat you can get. And then our dairy and eggs sometimes we get from another farm. Um, it's, a little further yeah, away. Yeah, a little further away. And we pick them up on Wednesday evenings uh, right down the road at a spot where they deliver to the area from their farm, if that makes any sense. And then, obviously, we have Farmer's Market. We don't have anything like farm foods. Um, I wonder, maybe, if that would be comparable to, like, Roller? I don't know. Um, I'm not even sure what a farm foods is. I've never heard of it before. I think I think you probably thought that's like what we were talking prices. about. Yeah. Those look good, like good prices. Well, this is, yeah, maybe this is, like, a Roller a little bit or something. I don't know. But uh, it's really inter interesting seeing the uh, seeing these little packages. Uh, but thanks, Colin, for uh, sending this. And no, we don't uh, have, an actual farm have an actual farm food here. All right, guys, this is a big package. I'm going to try to figure out how to, this is a big box right here. <laughs> um, okay, so it's actually not as heavy as it looks. No. So, so I can pretty much balance this. Hello. 
Hello. I saw someone in the track of mine. Wow, he's got really good handwriting. Man, you do got really good. Who is that? It looks printed. It's, it's Paul. Paul. Paul in. Oh, he said he printed it. But I think it's hand printed. Anyway, dear Steve, Lindsay, and Sophia, I hope you're all well and happy. I've seen Steve reacting to videos on the Unknown Warrior and the Red Arrows, so I sent you some related gifts. Oh, For you, cool. Steve, a cap and a beanie. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> the words around the cap badge read per ardua ad astra. These are in Latin and translate as through, adversi through adversity to the stars, the motto of the Royal Air Force. For Sophia, a cap in child size and a quick build red arrows hawk. A and for cap. Lindsay, a poppy necklace and earring set. Aww. The poppy is the symbol of remembrance. Every November 11th and on the nearest Sunday to yeah. the end, we observe Remembrance Day and tribute to the fallen of both world wars and more recent conflicts. The occasion is marked with church services, wreath laying at war memorials all over the UK, and a two minute silence. Young and old take part. Interestingly, one of the first people to champion the wearing of the poppy was an American lady, Moyna Michael, who successfully campaigned to have the poppy accepted in the USA in 1920 as a national symbol of remembrance. So Americans have also worn the poppy. I wish you all good health and send fond regards from the UK. Yours, Paul. Thank you, Thank Paul. You, Paul. Appreciate it. Quick build, red arrows. Oh, oh that's my cool. goodness. That's like, it's kind of like Legos uh -huh. a little bit. I love that. No blue, no paint, just build. Ooh. That's cool. Sophia, you want to build this with me? Yeah. An yeah. airplane. It's a Royal uh, Air Force Red Hawks airplane. I will build it. Cool. Mm -hmm. Let's build it. <laughs> Let's build it, baby. That's so pretty, man. That's such a pretty, yeah, that's nice. such a pretty um, emblem. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That's beautiful. Is that this one? Is this hers? Is that a kid size? I mean, it kind of. I think, I think so. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, I think that Aww. makes sense. Aww. You want to try on your hat, Sophia? Yeah. <laughs> it's, got a, it's, got a, it's got paper in it. Oh, okay. Take that out. Might have to... Might have to... Uh... Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Very cute. Are, are you joining the Royal Air Force? Are you, <laughs> you going you to double it up? up. You going to double it up, boo-boo? Right. There you go. Love, man. I've, I've got such a great beanie collection now. I have so many beanies for next year, which is awesome. Because they fray. They do. They fray after you wear them so much. Sorry, I'm trying. I'm trying over here. Oh, that's beautiful. What is it? This necklace. Oh, that's... Poppy pendant. Well, that's pretty. I see it. You're putting it on Ellie? Oh, oh, these earrings are so pretty too. Oh, those are pretty. I don't know if you can see them on there, but those are beautiful. Thank you, Paul. Yes, thank you. Appreciate it. What are you doing? Oh, you fall? What are you doing? Where are you going? Are you disappearing? <laughs> oh, no. She's fading away. She's moving away. Ah! Watch your hand. Paul, thank you so much. Appreciate it. And thank you to everyone else as well for it. Yeah. Always, it always seems like oh, it's going to be a small package opening. And then, <laughs> it's it's amazing, it. guys. I mean, it really is. Um, we really do appreciate each and every one of you that send packages in. We also appreciate everybody that's watching. Thank you so much. Um, we just it's just amazing. It mm -hmm. really is. Okay. Thanks. Thanks so much. <laughs> Yeah, a backwards hat. Awesome. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, this is fun, guys. We love it. Your doors. Your doors. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Look at you, little girl. All right, guys. Thank you so much for stopping. Oh, oh, oh. oh. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> She's over here crushing bubble boxes poppin'. and bubble popping. All right. Every kid loves bubble popping. Every person. Yeah, that's true. I, I like bubble popping. <laughs> 
All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow us on our journey to discover our British and Irish ancestry. <laughs> You are silly. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Peace. Bye.